Hello everyone, this is Miss Lena Ode, and this is uh, English Grade 10, Week 12. Uh, under the unit of a tragedy play for Othello William Shakespeare, we're going to be continuing with only uh, one act and one scene uh, in this Week 12, and then we're going to finish with some other skills. This week starts on the 19th with a debate. Uh, this time the controversy that you're going to be exploring is curfews for under 16s. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to demonstrate an ability to crit criticize uh, and, and analyze a controversial topic. You will develop skills in collaborative research and articulate engaging viewpoints. Some of the key terms that you will be learning, controversial topic, opening statements, rebuttals, reflections, and conclusions. Here are some videos which will help you how, on, uh, how to debate. Uh, if you click on the images, you'll also find some rules which will help you debate. Um, over here, the activity that is going to be done in the class will be distributed over 45 minutes and it will finish by giving your conclu a conclusion, reflection uh, uh, for the past five minutes and then announcing the winner. As for, uh, the, as for the 20th, uh, you're going to be taking a uh, the tragedy this one is act one scene two and three we'll try as much as we can to finish uh, act scene one two and three uh, you'll be able to read and comprehend the acts and scenes in the play and then analyze the techniques used in the play uh, here are the key terms that we've already discussed in class one of them is tragic hero catharsis fate uh, chorus, nemesis, tragic flaw, foreshadowing, irony, crisis, all should be understood uh, before we start with uh, analysis for anything. Here is, some, uh, pa here is a PowerPoint that is attached. In the this way, you, it will help you uh, to analyze a lot. Um, this video also explains uh, the act and the scenes. Uh, here are some activities once you click on them. Uh, they're going to take you to uh, an interactive activity um, uh, file here, this one. It's very interactive and it helps a lot. Uh, also, you're going to have another one with uh, some kind of illustration. Uh, for the challenging question, I'd like you to challenge yourself and answer the set of challenging questions. There also can be for, I would say, intermediate levels. And um, as for uh, as for the twenty first, we're going to start with a series of informative essays, writing classes. For the writing classes, we're going to start with inform informative essay, informational. Uh, some of the keywords that you're going to be learning, fact sheet, thesis statement, introduction, examples, body paragraphs, peel model, conclusion, linking words. Uh, if, you, if you click on this image, you will also access the PPT, which will help you understand. And this video gives a general outline of an informative essay. But of course, each of the classes, for the following classes, you're going to have a separate video that will explain each part of the, uh, of the paragraph or each part of the essay. It, of course, it includes the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. Each part will be explained in a separate class. Uh, over here, if you uh, start, you're going to be starting writing your thesis statement with an explanation on how to write a perfect intro. You will not have any justification on uh, why not to write a good one over here. And here are some uh, practices for you to um, also refer to, visiting texts, some channel question, assessment. As for the next day, which is the 22nd, we are going to continue with the body paragraph. This time, we're going to only allocate one class for the body paragraph because we don't have any counterclaims. These three body paragraphs will have the same layout of the informational essay body paragraphs. Uh, the, you will be able to identify the general layout of an informative essay, you present a uh, viewpoint, and this statement, you will also provide reliable facts, statistics, and so on, logos. Uh, over here also it tells you what an informative essay is. As for the body paragraphs, here is an explanatory, uh, I would say, um, layout, and then we're going to have an activity in the class. Uh, and also here in the second activity, you're going to be starting with drawing blurry paragraphs. 
As for the last day, of course, we're going to have informative essay, but this time you're going to be writing um, the conclusion. Uh, and then we will immediately edit and proofread our essays. It won't take more than one class this time. You need to manage your time when it comes to writing. Uh, of course, you're going to find uh, how to write the conclusion as a, a tutorial video. Uh, also, you will have another, I would say, explanatory um, on how to write uh, on how to write uh, a conclusion with all its parts. Another video that explains it all, and then you're gonna have to start writing and then immediately edit your essays. And that's it for this week. I'm gonna meet you meet you for week 13. Thank you so much.